Smells like off in here. Smells great. My cat might have been through the bed while I was on the counter. There's a bunch of shit on here in my counter. Oh! Hello, beautiful. Nothing else. Junk. Alright, let's see. Boom! Look at that, where's my camera? There it is. Oh, it comes with like a nice, sexy little sock. Uh, screw bypass, standard, everything else, blah blah blah. Gives you a layout of the controls. I can read through that. And kind of a description of what everything does. Um, volume, naturally. Let's open this thing and take a look at it first, though. Oh, there, this is kind of a sexy little bag. Uh, they just turn so smooth. All right. Cool. So I'm kind of confused, but let's figure it out anyway. All right. There's a fat button, which reminds me of my Maleco Ass Master. I think it also has like a fat button, or maybe it's just an ass switch. Anyway. I might modify this to make that have like a secondary tap tone where the tap tone turns the boost on and off. What does this do? This unique control adds loads of massive bottom end in the pre distortion section. Oh fuck, that's tight as shit. Tight. Boom! This shit is laid out fucking awesome. That jiggly was the 9 volt uh, connector. Makes total sense now that I think about it. Excellent work. All right, all back together. Let's uh, try some different guitars and see how this thing works. All right, so I got my telly out. We're gonna try some sounds. My tone right now, I'm using uh, Slate and Cubase. Um, it's some clean setting. I know some like all my brothers. So let's give this boy a try. Let's set everything kind of like noon. Turn all these knobs off. All right, everything's on. Let's see what happens.
Post. It's actually cleaning it up. Interesting. Where's the manual? Boost. It's a game boost. It's giving me more game boost. Fats on, sludge is on, treble and baser, treble's at two, bases at three, octatone is about to get kicked on, it's at noon. Let's see what happens. Average. Let's try it with a different guitar. Alright, different guitar, same exact settings. Let's try this thing. Let's see what it sounds like. Anyway, uh, everything's tuned in drop C sharp, by the way. be noted Epiphone, Les Paul style, but Fishman open court pickup and the bridge. Worth it. Just buy one. Don't even, not even sponsored. Just buy one. Please. Do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. Um. <laughs> Let's start getting weird. Don't make fun of me for this. This is a Fender Jazz Neck on a P-Bass, or on a uh, Squire body. 
that I significantly modified. Um, Seymour Duncan, humbuggers, and like the middle position, and then a chord pounder, Seymour Duncan, uh, jazz bass pickup at an angle. Uh, it actually sounds pretty savage on certain things, pretty shitty on everything else. Anyway, there is a toggle on off for the unbuckers. Uh, disregard everything I say about this, it's just my little baby, and I love it. Let's give this a shot. Raw tone, just the Seymour Duncan P bass or a uh, jazz bass pickup. With the humbuckers. Kick this motherfucker on. I give this thing, as far as like a distortion goes, like a solid seven, seven and a half out of ten. Um, mainly based off of, well, one, the enclosure, the build quality is like top tier. No questions about it. Ten out of ten quality of the build, the packaging it came in, you know, like the effort put into it, about it, on point. Good, good, uh, good job, guys. Like, Mucho bueno. Um, give it a seven, seven and a half, like the versatility of a fuzz itself. You know, you're only going to use it for certain things. Um, even in like straightforward rock music, you know, dad butt rock, uh, it would have its place in playing these like janky ass uh, Rolling Stone solos where he just comes in real hot. You could do that with this. It might not be the best. Actually, it'd probably sound better. Um, but like versatility wise, you know, it's not it's not like a tube screamer where it's just like you leave that thing on constantly. You could if you're playing like sumac or some shit like that. Uh, I'd be interested in hearing this stacked with some other distortions and fuzzes, like with a rat or the dia or the grunge or like uh, Maxon's 808 tube screamer. That would be a tight combo with this thing. Final decision. Not upset I bought it. I probably keep it for 30 years.